Good morning. Unfortunately, it got below freezing last night, so it started to thaw, created a nice layer of water, which then froze, and now we're dealing with sheet of ice. Happy cabbies, they are kicking on a bit now. They're looking good, looking well. That one's probably the best in this bunch in the middle there. That's a good shapey beast there. Anyway, got some cattle to feed, and then I need to go see a man about a dog. Right, I've been to see the man about a dog. I've seen the man. There's the dog. Hey, Pooch. Hey, pal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pooch. Well, the big lad sits here in a box. Good lad. We're going to have a tackle at this engine. We're going to get it into the machine it needs to go into, but you're not going to see that until Christmas time. Anyway, this is to replace this, which is knackered, as you can see. The wee battery's been sitting for a wee while and it's run out of juice, so hopefully we'll give it a charge up. Right, we're going to force some pixies into this. Charge it up. The workshop is freezing, but the pooch is roasting. It's like a wee hand warmer. Hey, pal. First time in the snow and he lies down. Nice one. Do you want your paws out the front? On then, boy, get your paws out, that's it. He just fits perfectly in the box in the front of the land over here. We're just bagging up spuds here. Dad's up the top, taking out any bad ones. And he's throwing them into that box and they come flying past my head. The football was on last night and I was out, so I'm a bit hungover. I got a sore head and then I've got potatoes flying past me every other second. So far he's had good aim, we're about halfway through, I've not had a clunk on the head yet. We're doing all big bags today because we've got quite a few Christmas order for orders for big bags. That's them stacked there, we're just getting through them. We've wound up with hardly any bags of these potatoes. Someone literally just arrived, 410 of them. It is a lot more mild. We had minus 10 a few days ago, and it's now 10 degrees weather. We've had a 20 degree swing in the temperature. So the sheets of ice and snow have disappeared, or are almost away. So this big lad, is called Baxter. We've never had a dog before. We've always been bitches, so Let's see how we get on. What are you doing, man? He's a good big lump of a dog. Go on, on you go. Straight back in. See how he fares on the ice, skating about. Anyway, you now know his name, Baxter. Baxter the Bandit. He was 6.7 kilo two days ago, so it's not far off seven kilo already. Big lad. Oh boy. Go on, go on, sit. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I shouldn't show him, sit. Good boy. Here. Sit. Good boy. Just yoking up this trailer, it's got a bucket on it. Kev's over there spreading dung. And um, he's finished with the bucket, he's just using the grape now. Okay, as you can see, all the snow has thawed. Kev was at dung yesterday. And um, we're gonna try a load this morning, but don't know what it's been like. Quite a mess, probably. It's still hard in places, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know what it'll be like, but it might be okay. Just got this pile along here, half a day to do, really. We've concluded after one load, it's plenty hard enough. Just keep cracking on. This dung here has not been out of the reed for too long, so it's not had a chance to rot and break down. It's a bit clumpier. Um, and the machine needs a bit more power to spread this. The other stuff that was all really nice and broken down, it was like firing out, no bother. Anyway, that's it moving. You can see the steam coming off it from the heat. Kev's gonna work away at that pile. I'm heading along the road, we need to sort out carrots and parsnips for Christmas orders. He's motoring along now. Spreader's doing a fine job there. It's a K2, we, we hired it. We don't have our own spreader. I'll get this shifted along the bucket we're using for the dung that had broken down. It picks up no bother and you need the grape for this chunkier stuff because the bucket just doesn't cut through it. Expecting the next two, three days to be 
mayhem. So the next three days are all the Christmas orders in the farm shop going out, whether it's deliveries, normal orders. It's a lot better than it used, it used to be a lot more manic. Over the years, it's been more and more refined and it's definitely a lot more civilized operation now, but that side of things, my brother does all that stuff. Shop stuff, Christmas order stuff. That's him. Me and dad are just the gophers. Do what he's, he tells us to do. Go where he tells us to go, to some degree. Job done, it is soaking now. Gave the forklift a wee blast, nothing fancy. Just while that washer was out. Oh, it's miserable. Some lad. What are you saying, man? Clean bucket. Go and dump that off. Need to fill up a flatbed. Do we, pal? Thanks, to Need to go and fill up the flatbed trailer. Dad's away to pick up carrots, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, also drop off a few things. He's on a bit of a mission round Fife. What are you saying to a big man? Relax. Oh, you this boy. Are you okay, boy? Go for a s Oh, boy. What's up with you, man? Any vehicle he goes in, he, he whines. This van has got a slow puncture down here, so we're going to go and get that sorted out so we've got no issues when we're trying to get deliveries done. Come on, hit the road. Come on. Sit. We're just waiting on a tyre getting done here. The McConaug is. These cattle, not, they're not quite needing bedded yet, but if I bed them today, they don't need done the 22nd, 3rd, they'll probably need it done again on the 24th, but those days when delivery's going out and it's a bit busy, we don't need to even worry about bedding cattle. Come on, girls, out the road. Psst, psst. Come on. Come on. Psst, psst. Come on in. Psst, 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 psst. This is reminding me we're getting a demo of a toy tomorrow, or maybe tonight. Psst. Come on. Come on, beast. Stubborn girl, eh? I filmed a podcast yesterday with Farming Funny, um, some Scottish guys who've been doing a wee podcast for a while, and it's just really good, you should go and listen to it. But we were chatting away about our favourite... Oh, you bugger. She's trying to shunt me out the road. Um, chatting away about what our favourite bit of farming is. And I do love the machinery, I would love the tools, but the cows are my favourite. One of the guys on there is a stock farmer, uh, calving a lot of cows. And we, me and him were chatting about how rewarding it is when you get a cow like one of these and have a really troublesome calving, but you manage to sort out the situation that they wouldn't have managed to deal with themselves. And you get a nice healthy calf after it. There's no better feeling. It's brilliant. Anyway, if you're watching, what's your own favorite part of farming? Whether you are a farmer, retired farmer, or you're not in farming at all, what's your favorite bit to watch? Bruiser's just on the way. Open up here, they've got the buckets in there. Get some barley brews, so we've got enough over Christmas period. Buckets in here, because we get hen feed made up in here. This forklift, bit of a peculiar one, so the tracking on it wasn't amazing. It was starting to play up a wee bit. The front and rear wheels, every so often, wouldn't line up properly. Since we've changed tires, tracking's not really, I've not, not felt it. It's not misaligned at all. Got a wee dribble of limestone left in here, so. There's a pile of it there. Get rid of it there, and then that's the barley that's getting bruised. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't have the pins on. I'm sure I did, because I turned off the floor to them. Now I'll need it back. That was a lucky one. This looks abandoned. I think someone's got it stuck in there. Box of parsnips. Can't get the weight off it, because it's sitting too far this way. So just give it a nudge out. How's the wee bandit doing? Hey boy! <laughs> turkeys, you've just seen a time lapse of us bringing all these turkeys in. All three of us have just tried to count them and got it wrong every time. I think we've got it there, 170. We've got a good boring job now. Bagging up veg. I think there's 138 bags of carrots and 120 bags of parsnips to do. That's pallet number one. I need to count how many there are. Two. Right, 26 bags of parsnips. Yep. 
parsnips on pallet number one. So we need another four pallets of that. Five pallets of carrots. Pallet number two. Doug. <whistles> Hello, Pooch. Bruiser's just arrived. So I'm abandoning parsnips for now. Dad's been on a road trip, picking up more sprouts. One, I think there's 80 trees in a box, so 100 and, what is that? 220, 240, 240. 240 sprout trees and a box of Manus Piper. Hey, Butch, what's wrong with you? Right, that's that trailer empty. I'll finish off the bruising, it's still going in there. Here it comes. 14 ton we're doing. Job done. The wee man's fallen asleep. Bruising done. He'll not be back till January. He's been doing the rounds through all his kind of usual customers just now, getting everyone topped up for over Christmas. The well, last thing he was wanting is a phone call on Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. I'm needing some feet. Although he says he has had some in the past. Christmas Eve. Right, the chill is well and truly full now. It is stocked to the brim. We've got enough parsnips to do tomorrow bagged up. I need to do a few batches of carrots just so tomorrow morning there's enough for the orders going out in the morning. Then me and Kev will get to doing all the other bags that are even bagged up. My brother's sorting out all his turkeys. It's all looking relatively under control. Fingers crossed, touch wood. Right, those bags will keep them going first thing in the morning. These are veg boxes. So with turkey orders, we do either a selection of individual veggies, so you order your carrots, your pasta separately in one kilo bags each, or buy a kind of veg select box, which has got carrots, got parsnips, got cabbage. It's kind of got a bit of everything in it. But if you're more keen on getting one rather than another, then order individually. Anyway, it is now pitch dark. We seem to be on top of things. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow where hopefully everything's going to plan tomorrow, but it's bound to go wrong at some point. Cheers. See ya. That's all the snow melted.